Hello and welcome to another issue of Linux Gaming by me, Chris, of Films by Chris. Last time we were looking at Pac-Man 4, your console, which was fun, but it was a single-player game. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could play multiplayer games? Well, that's what we're looking at today with Shtron, or SSHtron, and this is awesome. I mean, how cool is Tron? I mean, they've made at least two movies about it, both with awesome graphics. So this game has to be awesome. And the best thing about it is that you don't even need to install anything. And it's multiplayer. All you have to do is run this command, SSH, into the server. There's no username or password needed. Let's go ahead and just jump right in. Right away, you get a shell and you get this little Tron arrow that you can move around and you gotta use WASD. If you try to use your arrow keys like this, it's just going to exit you. Uh, but that's just, just it, WASD, and you can play Tron and it's multiplayer, so if someone else is logged in, you're gonna play against them. So far, I haven't really seen anybody else on the server. Maybe that will change once I do this video. Everybody, as soon as you see this video, log in and let's see if you can play with other people because that would be awesome. Now, every time you run this, you're assigned a new, a new color. Last time I was blue, I think. Oh, look. Oh, there's, there's other people here, I think. Um, they don't really seem to be controlling their player too well. Um, <laughs> so maybe someone logged in then logged out. Uh, I'm doing fairly well. Uh, maybe the sessions that I just logged out of are still running on the server. They're gone now. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm red now. I can exit out, and if I run it again, now I'm magenta. And if you go to the website, which is the same link as the SSH server, uh, of course, you get this. It tells you who it's made by, uh, and you can share and tweet it. And then there's also a link to their GitHub where you can get... Uh, the application itself, the code for it. And uh, it seems pretty cool they have quick directions on how to set it up on your own server if you want to, that we don't have to use their server. Um, but uh, it runs great. The only thing is uh, here it says there's supposed to be seven different colors you can choose from that you're randomly assigned, but you should be able to log in and pick your color as long as it's not already assigned to somebody else by doing uh, using the username either red, green, blue, yellow, uh, magenta, cyan, or white, but I've tried that and it still just assigns me a random color each time, so supposedly if I did red at this, it's supposed to assign me red, but you can see that I'm not. I'm green. And uh, if I try to run it again, just to be sure, now I'm yellow. Let me go ahead and run it again this time as green. Oh, that I'm betting that's random. Let me Let me try running green again. I got yellow that time. Um, so yeah, I haven't really been able to, uh, pick my color. <laughs> Not that that's a huge deal. Um, but again, uh, it'd be fun to play this with some other people. Uh, it is, for a text-based thing, sometimes a little jerky. Like, every once in a while you see my cursor kind of, my arrow kind of freezes and then jumps a little bit, which is kind of not great for a game like this. And I've got pretty decent internet connection here, so I don't know if it's their server, their connection. I'm pretty sure it's not me. Um, but that could that could really mess up a game, uh, the way it jumps like that, like freezes and jumps. And you can see it does it fairly regularly. Um, but still a fun idea, and if I don't like the way their server's running, I could, again, always start my own. So check this out. If you're watching this video now, quickly log in. The day I'm posting this video, there might be lots of people log in, and you can play against other people. I don't know what happens if more than seven people try to log in, since it only has seven colors. Um, I don't know if it starts a new game, or if it just tells you there's already people logged in. I should try running uh, seven sessions here real quick. You know what? We've got time. We've got time, right? Let's do that. Uh, is it, let's see. I'm going to, let's see, exit out of that. So. Oh, my, I accidentally killed one of my connections. Maybe, what would be the best way to do this? I could probably just open up yeah, let me think about this. Okay, let, let, let's close all these panels here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 4i in, uh, and I'll say 0 dot dot. And we want to go, 7 would be 
But let's do eight. So that should do all seven players and then start two new ones. And we'll see if it allows those two to log in or if it starts a new game for them. We're going to say do and we'll use xterm. So we'll open up a bunch of xterm windows uh, dash e and then we will give it our ssh commands. We'll say ssh to this server here. And then uh, we want to continue and we'll just say echo Tron. Okay, and then done. And if I've done everything correctly here, we should get nine. Yeah, nine X term windows here. So let's go ahead and run this. Let's see. Oh, we got one. So I did something wrong. Oh, because I, I did and ampersand ampersand. Hold on. Uh, okay, we want one ampersand here. Let's try it now. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, so yes, it looks like uh, this bottom left and the center one are playing against each other and then all these other ones are a separate game. So uh, more than seven people can log in, but only seven people in each game. That is beautiful. Okay, and eventually I got disconnected. Uh, but that was pretty cool. Uh, anyway, I hope that you guys check this out. It is pretty cool. It could be pretty fun if I actually had someone to play with. So check it out. And as always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There should be a link in the description of the video. And uh, there you can search through all my videos from both my channels. And think about supporting patreon.com forward slash mylex1000. Link in the description of the video for that as well. I appreciate any support you can give me. And if you can't financially support, think about liking, sharing, comments, subscribing, all that stuff helps out a lot. As always, I hope that you have a great day.